Hi everybody. We are going to jump into this week's project. I hope it's only a week. What we have is a set of six chairs. Shield back Duncan Fife. They have been recovered. There are two captain's chairs and four regular dining chairs. One of our captains has some real issues. I do have the pieces. Whether this can be fixed, I don't know. Let's take a look at what we have. Someone has already attempted to do um, something to them. They really, really liked their glue. I'm not sure what these people did to their chairs, but Lord have mercy on them. This one, well, it's special as well. There seems to be um, some space. We also have the table. It does pull apart. I do not have the leaf for it. Somebody's obviously put a hot pot down on the table. It has tons of scratches, but it does have a lovely set of feet. Really nice, nice style to it. It's got um, the brass covers on the feet. One of the first things we're going to do is try and get some of this, this glue off. Um, I don't know what kind of glue this is, but not the right kind. Y'all are not going to believe this one. We have hot glue. That's hot glue. That might be a failure. Okay. Well, and there's a screw there. Like I say, I don't know whether this chair will be able to be fixed or not, but we will, we'll see. That is a hot mess. I swear this is spray foam. More hot glue. We have foam insulation, hot glue. What looks like that epoxy that you mix together that's brown. What you've also got that's interesting is something called joinery. Yeah, well it did at one point. Yeah. And now I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to be able to put this back together. I wonder why that blew out. Hey, not that one. Probably just bad luck. It was, I'm sure. This piece here was all caked with some sort of glue substance. Something akin to a adhesive. Um, it looks like this has been glued many times with many different things. None of which I believe was the original glue. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start taking this chair apart. The reason that we're going to take this chair apart is it's had a repair before here. And if you can see, the chair, the repair has failed. Um, it's done with some putty. I'm not sure what sort of adhesive was used, but it's, it's not holding up very well. So rather than having to cut this leg and replace the top of it, we're going to use this chair for parts and I'm going to take this leg, which is a fine leg, and use it on the captain's chair to replace this leg from the captain's chair. Because you can see that it's, well, yeah, it's not a chair leg. It's something else. This is some of the glue that came off of this leg that they had repaired. It looks like spray foam. It feels like spray foam. And if you look in there, you can see even inside it looks like spray foam. Now I'm unfamiliar with the adhesion properties of spray foam, but it could be something I don't know. Also down in here, this is a good one. We also have 
hot glue. Hot glue for a repair. And down in the hole where the screw is, I don't know what they've done, but it looks like they've put some sort of epoxy on top of the screw. This is just some of the things that we are having to deal with with this this particular set. I knew this set was going to be a challenge. It's been sitting in my storage room for coming up on two years. I think I should have left it there. Aha! Success! That's the chair leg that we reclaimed yesterday. We're going to have to cut these dowels and then drill new holes and put new dowels in to attach this leg here. All right, we're getting ready to glue this captain's chair up that's such a nightmare. And since we do not have wood to wood contact on quite a bit of it because it's been repaired so many times, we're going to use an epoxy um, adhesive on this one just to be sure that everything holds up well. We've done a dry fit first just to be sure that everything would work and we believe it will so all right I'm just gonna start oh I forgot to undo that one <laughs> Casket. We're there? Yeah, we're not perfect, but we're good enough for the time being. Good enough to get the rest of us out. Okay. Okay. You're epoxied? Yeah. There's a rag there. Oh, that was easy. Alex, we've worked with epoxy so much. You should know if there's epoxy, we're going to end up with it all over us. On our shoes. Uh, our shoes. Uh, Good times. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Perfect. In someone's brilliance, when they um, attempted a semi repair on this chair before, drilled holes back here so of course the glue that i've put into the dowel holes uh wants to squeeze out so um we're gonna just we're gonna put block here and now we've got the chairs going in the right direction we're gonna focus on this table this table is in pretty rough shape um someone has set a hot pot down here there's scratches, pretty big scratches in it, all over it. If we look right here at this side, it's got a gouge out of it. Someone's tried to put some, some sort of filler in it, but it didn't hold very well. I usually, I'm not all about painting a dining table. Um, I always think that for dining tables, the best finish is a wood finish, but that's just me. But what we're going to do is we're going to give this a good sand and I'm going to show you some ways that you can ensure that if you do have to paint a dining table that that paint will, will last as well as can possibly be expected. The first thing we want to do is rough up the surface. So we're going to sand it down and this is a 150. We are not sanding to go to wood. What we are doing is we want to take any shine off of this table. And so we've gotten there with that one. And let's do the other side. I've taken a bit more apart on these tables. Um, the reason is it makes it much easier to paint. Um, I prefer to spray these. So I've taken the apron off. And that'll make that easier to paint. 
I've taken the sliders off as well and numbered those so they can go back on in the same place later. But for now, we're going to focus on the apron and getting it painted and the base feet and getting those painted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a coat of 123 primer. It's a bonding primer on there. Um, that will also let me know what's going to bleed, if anything. But for now, we're going to set the tops in another room and we're going to focus on just getting the apron and the base painted. We've got the tabletop in here and we have it primed. So we've got the chairs all primed, apron over there all primed. We've got the base is primed. So everything is primed and ready to be painted. So we're going to get on with that today and see if we can finish this project up at some point. What I've done is I've mixed up a custom gray color. Key to mixing your own paints is that if you've got a project to do, you want to be sure that you mix up enough paint for all of those. Otherwise, you're going to have a world of mess trying to mix those colors to match. If you want to know how to make your own chalk paint, I've got a video on that. Alex will link it in the description below. And we're going to go ahead and start getting this put on. For those of you that are new to the channel, I use a Fuji Semi Pro 2. Um, I love my sprayer. It does what I need it to do. Really important part about spraying, be sure that you strain your paint every time you fill your gun. Just waiting on the rest of our paint to strain through to fill our cup. Take some time, but definitely something that you do not want to skip. Skip this step and it'll mess up the whole day. We'll let that dry and then we'll sand down and do another coat. Now that we've got everything top coated as we used a chalk paint, the next step that I'm doing, I need kind of a smooth, slick surface, um, eggshell or, or gloss. Um, you don't want to do this next step on a chalk paint surface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a black glaze on this and what that's going to do is settle into all these little um, details and just really bring this to the next level. Um, it's going to make those details just pop. I've got a Valspar glaze and I've used this several times. I've gotten many, many uses out of this one small can. Um, and you can mix this with any color that you want. There are other companies that do glazes. Um, I know General Finishes has a really good one, but you can get them in different colors, but I just, I get this one and just mix my own. And I just took a tricorn black um, paint, so it's a really deep black, and just mixed it with my glaze and made a glaze. Now, you're going to want a damp rag, a dry rag, your brush, any brush will do, even a chip brush. brush will do, and your water bottle. The key to this is keeping it, keeping the glaze wet. If you let it dry out, it's going to cause problems because once it's dry, that's it, it's set. So we want to keep it nice and nice and moist. So I'm um, just going to start here go all the way around and you're just going to just like you're painting it um, cover every surface work in small areas well work areas at a time you don't want to put put it on the whole piece and then try and come back because what's going to happen is your glaze is going to dry and then you're not going to be able to remove it and now we're just going to take our damp rag and just start wiping back.
See how it just settles into the crevices? If you feel like you want more, you can add to it and do it again. If you feel like you want more off of it, then you just keep wiping and until you get to the look that you want. It will turn your paint just a little bit. So if you aren't comfortable with that, you may need a different medium um, and this might not be the way to go, but I'm okay with it. Um, making my paint a little bit more gray. Whenever I painted this and mixed the paint, I specifically mixed it a little bit lighter than what I really was wanting it because I knew I was going to do this step and um, I knew it would darken it up a bit. We're going to do the same thing with the chairs that we did with the table base. We finished it off with a General Finishes High Performance Flat Top Coat. I did three coats of that since this is a tabletop and I want to be sure that it will give many, many years of enjoyment to its new owners. We're still waiting on the new feet covers to come in, but we've put new covers on the seat. And I think it really works well with the finish on the table and the chairs. Um, just really looks nice and rich. Um, if you want to see a video of me doing the upholstery on this, um, put it in the comments. We've got that footage, but we didn't want to make this video too terribly long. I think it looks really good. I think it looks absolutely beautiful and I think somebody will really enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to hit like, subscribe, and leave us a comment.